color, texture, light. All sculptures have more than one way that you can view it. The University of Connecticut has all this wonderful artwork. I would recommend to anybody to look at the art, to think about it. You begin to be inspired. Let's begin with Mobius Solaris by the sculptor Robert Peerless. It's based on the Mobius form. There are three edges, a single plane, and it reflects light through prisms. And it contains what's called a heliostat. Heliostats will track the sunlight and will rotate the sculpture to maximize the rainbow effect. This sculpture is called Elements. Richard Hunt is the most commissioned of all African-American artists in the country. Notice the arrow going up. It wants you to direct your eyes. The artist is June Kaniko. This tells a story. Down lower, it's almost like beautiful chaos. It's crowded with symbols. And then as you go higher, you notice it changes. I think that the artist was trying to say something about the metaphysical. This piece is called Plain and Painted Parts. The artist is Robert Cumming. I love the thermometer, the protractors, balance beam scale. And that may be a question mark, which is really what art should do. Art should make us question. This is a piece that's called Slip Edge Bis. The sculptor's name is Lila Katzen. The artist wants people to get close, play on it, make contact. They call this piece the walking wall. It was designed by three fine art professors. What the professors did here was they took the 12 letters that make up University of Connecticut and they put them in different placements to create words, envision, connection, sincerity, serve, curiosity. The 12 letters of the University of Connecticut and it's really a lovely thing to imagine that there is art all around us. Just to give you a perspective, this is maybe a third or less than a third of the sculptures that we have on campus. Stop for a moment or two and look. Sculpture is about what the artist intends, but frankly, it's even more about how we respond to it. You know, you're looking at something creative and that's very inspiring. And that inspires creative problem solving. And that reaches over to every part of our lives.